So I'm looking on page um, 108 of the Keto Diet, and this is a great uh, list of things to avoid when you're switching over to a ketogenic lifestyle. So the things that she lists, a big one for her is dairy. She's allergic to dairy, and there are many reasons to avoid dairy. Um, some of the reasons that she talks about is whey proteins can raise our insulin levels. I believe that and cause some imbalances in our blood sugar. It can increase inflammation in our bodies. Um, has natural hormones in milk that were designed to stimulate the growth of baby calves. calves. Um, and so it can lead to some weight gain. So there, there are some valid reasons to not eat dairy every day or just avoid it altogether if you want to. So that might be a big jump if you're coming off of grains as well and other carbs. So if you need to do it just a little bit at a time, I'm all about that. The other thing that there are some other things that seem healthy and they can be once your body is corrected and healed. Um, but at the moment, I'm avoiding all of those. Uh, and I've eaten in the past. I feel like I'll eat them in the future. So that group is the legumes. So things like beans, lentils, which I don't eat very much, peanuts, which they have their own issues because they're, they're just a lot of times full of mold and fungus and that kind of thing. Soy and peas. So those are things you definitely want to avoid. Um, and then we'll go into the group of the grains. You want to make sure you're avoiding corn, quinoa, wheat, oats, rice, and any kind of breads. And then of course sugar. Um, table sugar, that agave nectar that's not supposed, it's supposed to maybe not affect your blood sugar as much, I'm not sure, but that is out. High fructose corn syrup, which they put in just about everything. Even when I wasn't eating right, I was doing my best to avoid high fructose corn syrup. And, you know, my kids don't eat this way right now. I really hope to get them over that hump and do that. But I try my best to buy things that don't have the high fructose corn syrup in them. And then brown sugar or anything that has those sugar ingredients in them. Um, maple syrup and honey. I feel like, again, those have a place in a good healthy diet but at the at this present time i am working really hard on healing my body from some damage so i'm not including any of that in there i try to stay away from anything sugary um the only things that i choose to eat sweet is the stevia uh, and i'm not going to say this right the erythrobrol um and those two things don't affect your blood sugar as much. I think they do play a part. So if you can avoid those and not um, maybe include those if you don't need to, that's even better. Um, but sometimes it's just hard coming off a lot of things at one time. So that's why in that other video I talked about maybe just doing it a little bit at a time. The next group I want to talk about is processed foods. Um, those are anything that have artificial sweeteners such as aspartame. Um, any kind of Little Debbie's, which I grew up on, oatmeal, cream pies, my favorite. Um, packaged snacks like granola bars, chips, protein bars, replacement bars, shakes, all that kind of thing, crackers. Um, they typically have a lot of carbs in them, so you don't want to have any of that. Um, and I, I talked about in other videos, what do you do? What do you snack on then? Um, you can do those the eggs you can have boiled eggs and it doesn't sound exciting that's why i like to mix all that up together with the the eggs and the bacon and the mayonnaise and that little bit of salt and then you can have you know the pink the um soy not soy i'm sorry sunflower butter as a snack too that'll get you through if you're still kind of fighting through that i still have glucose in my body but i'm trying to convert over to a fat burner you can do some of those things and I'll try to include some other snacks that you can do and you can I mean obviously you can google and find all kinds of keto recipes and fat bombs to kind of help you um, get through that fat bombs are 
really just a high concentration of fat. So, uh, and you can do them sweet or you can do them salty. I actually prefer a lot of salty things now over the sweet just because I don't have that much. So, um, so those are things that you don't want to eat. So now I want to talk about fruit because that's kind of a, you know, fruit's supposed to be good for you. And it is. And in the right season of your life, in the right season of its life on earth, um, we have gotten so used to having all fruits in abundance all year. And that is not the way God created it. It's not the way that people a long time ago ate their fruits. They didn't eat apples all year long. They didn't eat oranges all year long. They didn't eat watermelon all year long. So you'll notice that some fruit is more seasonal. Um, the more expensive it is, the less in season it typically is. So at this point in the keto diet, you're not going to eat apples. You're not going to eat bananas. You're not going to eat grapes. Um, I'm trying to think. Watermelon. The watermelon. Um, the cranberries. When I think of cranberries, I think of dried cranberries. So no dried fruit. Uh, you could probably have regular cranberries if you really wanted to go that sour. So, so what can you eat? What can't? What fruits and vegetables can you eat? Well, there is lots of things that you can eat. Um, you can eat. Let's see. I have a list over here. Mm, you can have. Okay, so for your fruit, you can have um, berries, strawberries, blackberries. Like I said, cranberries, as long as it's not dried cranberries, um, any kind of berry. I can't eat berries just because of the kidney stone stuff, but it's okay. I'm, I'm fine without them. Or if I have them, I have them in a minuscule amount. Um, so, vegetables. I attached the list. Lots of vegetables that we can have. Uh, even though they might have a little bit, the ones that are in that list that are, that might have a little bit higher carb count, they have a lot of fiber, which deducts from that, um, like broccoli and cauliflower and lettuce, any kind of leafy greens are fine. Again, I have to be careful with spinach because it's high in oxalate or any dark leafy greens, but most people are fine with that and it's a great source of vitamins. Um, avocados, that's a fruit. Um, but it's very high in fiber and very high in fat. So if you like avocado, eat that. Um, I like it okay. I'm more of a guacamole girl. But that's something that you can eat and mix together. Um, and there's ways to have chips if you want to make something like guacamole where you can... I would say parchment paper is going to be your friend. So lay out some parchment paper, put some Parmesan cheese, um, like in little, you know, little tiny sections like this. So just put a little Parmesan cheese and then stick it in the oven. I can't remember what the temperature should be. It's not very long. Again, you can Google that and they'll come out kind of crunchy and hard. This is if you're eating dairy, you can do this. You can also do bacon like that, so you can use it as a dip, bacon as your chip. So you can do those little Parmesan cheese chips because they get hard, and you can dip that in your salsa and sour cream and full fat sour cream. Don't try to go low fat. You want full fat, whatever you're doing. Okay, so that's a good little snack or a good side to something. Um, so now the keto power foods and that's in here um so i'm just going to go through those apple cider vinegar i did a, a video on that there's lots and lots of information on apple cider vinegar and once you start drinking it you can um you can start getting used to it it's kind of strong it actually is really strong but dilute it a lot and then maybe put a little sweetener in or something or some lemon juice in that um bone broth i've not gotten into that but i really want to um let's see what else do they have here broccoli i love some broccoli the loaded broccoli that's really good coconut oil um dark chocolate okay so when we're talking about dark chocolate 
we're talking about, um, like, I would say 80 to 85 to 90% cocoa. And you're like, oh, that sounds disgusting. But the less sugar you have, like, the sweeter it tastes. It tastes fruity. It's so good. I want to say the lint chocolate, like, look at the back. Because really, I only have like a couple of squares of chocolate. So, look at the back. Look at your carbs. Subtract out the fiber. And then, usually, they have the um, serving size of half a bar. But I, I don't need that. I need like a square of it. So, it ends up being like two or three carbs for that little chocolate piece. That is so yummy. Um, so, dark chocolate's good. Egg yolks. I know my daughter does not like the egg yolk of a boiled egg, and so I'm like, save it, don't throw it away. So I'll make fat bombs out of that. Um, some fermented food. I haven't gotten into that yet, but I have friends that do that. Flaxseed, garlic, grass-fed beef tallow. Um, I don't know a lot about that, but I've heard that's really good. Hale, liver, so organ meat. Not into that yet. I hope they will be. Um, raw coconut meat. We don't really have all that. Uh, seaweed iodine is a whole other thing like that's something that's really good for us and then wild um, caught Pacific salmon um, and that's really important that's wild but I don't eat seafood so, so anyways um, so those are some things and then she has a list of quick snacks avocado drizzle a little bit of oil um, almonds bacon wrapped cucumbers not a fan of cucumbers, but bacon, yes. Um, coconut cream with berries, ham wrap, avocado slices, uh, hard boiled eggs, pork rinds. Um, you can have some tea with some collagen peptides. I'll talk about that another time. Uh, pickles, sunflower seeds, um, almond butter with chia seeds. So I love that she's got all the food lists in here. Um, I mean, it's just a huge food list, and it's very helpful. Like, if you're learning what you're supposed to eat, it's it's super helpful. Um, and she's even got pictures of, like, because there's things called a carb up in her book that I will maybe touch on later. Hopefully, y'all can get this. Um, but things that have a little bit more carbs to it, because you can have carbs. It's just you've got to do it at the right time and all that kind of thing. It, this is not nearly as complex as it sounds. Like, I feel like I don't even eat that much because I'm not very hungry. So, anyways, that's it for today for that. Um, so, if you have any questions, let me know. And hopefully I will see you um, on the group.